Uh, so my name is Chris Ogunek. I'm from Nikon Canada, uh, and this is the brand new Nikon D850. Uh, incredibly versatile DSLR that I think we're all here at Nikon really excited to, uh, to tell everybody about. The top level features on this camera, uh, the first being the brand new sensor. So the backside illuminated 45.7 megapixel sensor, uh, the fact that it can shoot while recording a full 45 megapixel RAW or JPEG at seven or up to nine frames a second, and then probably the 4K video capability. So the, the ability to record full frame UHD 4K quality. Benefits of this new sensor, obviously people expect amazing detail out of it, 45 megapixels, and they're gonna get that. Um, but probably the biggest benefit to the sensor is the fact that it's a backside illuminated sensor. So we've essentially made the, the sensor more efficient. So we've kind of moved a layer of circuitry out of the way of the path of light, and the sensor for every photo you take, every photo diode is able to actually capture more light, which for a consumer, they don't really care about that, but what they will care about is that's gonna give them better dynamic range and better high ISO capabilities. Uh, with the copper wiring that we've incorporated into this is the incredible read speed that we're able to get out of it, um, being able to record to an XQD card. So when you're shooting at seven frames a second, you're able to record 51 uh, 14 bit raw files directly to an XQD card before the buffer starts to slow down. Now, I made very sure to say 14 bit there because if you go down to 12 bit raw files, which is what most people are probably going to be shooting with this camera, you get 170 continuous shots before the buffer starts to slow down, which is unbelievable. The autofocus of the D850 is for me one of the huge benefits that a lot of people are kind of hesitant to believe at first. Uh, they really don't believe that the autofocus of the D850 is the exact same system that's found in the pro high level D5. A lot of times they go, okay, well, it's the same module, same 153 points, but it's really not gonna be as fast, and it is. It has the exact same 153 autofocus uh, sensor that's in here, but on top of that, it has a dedicated autofocus processor. So all the horsepower that you're used to with the D5, the D500, you also have in the D850. Uh, it's very similar to the D5, D500 in that you have, if let's say you're a back button autofocuser, so normally I'll have my AF on button be my 3D autofocus. And then let's say I'm always shooting wildlife, birds in flight, and I wanna be able to jump between different autofocus modes very quickly. Generally, you'd have to press in a whole button and kind of switch, and if you have a bird jumping around in a tree, it's a little difficult to actually switch on the fly and get the exact autofocus mode that you want. But with the customization you can do with the 5, the 500, and now the D850, is I can have any of these uh, function buttons, my preview, my function, or even the sub-selector center button, change not only my autofocus mode, but also be a second AF on button. So just kind of give you an idea for how I'm shooting. Um, when I shoot, let's say, birds in a tree, I want to be very, very precise. So I have my sub-selector center. When I press that in, that's now my second AF on button. And it switches from 3D to single point, so I can be very, very precise. And then as the bird's about to go and take off, and I want to be able to track it while in flight, I have my preview button set up to not only be another AF on button, but this is now my group mode or my dynamic mode, depending on which one I feel like using. So I literally have the ability to switch from 3D to single point to group or dynamic all with one button press. So having that customization that really allows it to fine tune the way you shoot is amazing. This is a fully electronic shutter, and when you go and turn on in live view, your silent live view, uh, whether you're in mode one or mode two, it is completely silent. So when I say silent, I mean silent. You will not hear a thing. It's done completely electronically, and uh, anybody around you, they won't hear a thing as you're shooting. So you can actually shoot single shot, obviously just one shot at a time, or if you actually change it into continuous high mode, you'll get up to six frames a second, and that's the full 45 megapixels, JPEG, or RAW. So let me actually demonstrate that for you. Uh, so I'm going into Live View right now. I'm turning on silent Live View photography. Uh, I'm going from off to silent mode one. So this allows me to shoot at the full 45 megapixels. I just took a shot. Now I'm gonna go turn it into continuous high mode, 
And as I'm talking right now, I'm continuously shooting. So as I pan around the room, you'll actually see it's showing you the shots that I was taking. So very, very silent, you won't hear a thing. The DA50 is probably our best touch uh, overall capability out of all of our, our high-end DSLRs. So when you compare it um, to anything else we have, you can go through the menus using the menu, uh, using the, the, the touch screen. You can go through the live view by actually touch shutter, which means that by pressing it, it'll actually take a photo or touch to focus and it'll actually shift focus just with the touch of a, a, a finger. And then while you're actually in playback mode, you have the ability to scroll through your photos, you have the ability to uh, double touch and it'll bring it up 100%. You can pinch to zoom. Or one of my favorites, if you shoot a lot of wildlife or sports and you're shooting a lot of action all at once, you can actually just press your finger on the bottom of the screen and it'll bring up a quick scrubbing feature that you press that and it allows you to very quickly scrub through a huge number of shots very, very fast. D850 is able to shoot 4K UHD video quality, which our D5 and D500 and D7500 have been able to do in the past, but there's no crop on it. So it's able to record the exact uh, full frame view that people would expect. So yes, you have the ability, if you want to put on a 200 to 500, that 500 in DX crop mode, which you can turn on, is now a 750 mil lens. But if you have a 14 to 24 and you want that 14 to be tw uh, 14, then you can then turn on your full frame mode and capture the exact same uh, view that you would expect. We also have a lot of benefits on the video side for when you're shooting uh, 1080p video quality. So you can do a couple different things, one of them being a slow motion mode. So you can record at 120 frames a second. So that's actually built into the camera. It's not something you have to go and process afterwards. So that 120 frames a second is recorded in camera. You can play it on the back of the screen and see your beautiful slow motion video all ready for you processed. Uh, we also have a couple little uh, benefits uh, for your workflow as you're shooting. So a lot of people when they're shooting, they're gonna be shooting in manual, uh, their focus. So to get the best and most accurate focus, we have focus speaking now. Uh, we also do have the, the zebra patterns, which we've had for a number of years, but it's way more customizable. You can uh, change the, the direction of it. You can also change uh, when it's actually going to show up or with the brightness values. So we've really expanded out the video capabilities in, in total with the, uh, the D850. Every trip is a little bit different. So I really picked the tool that I'll need for that trip. But we were talking early and I did just go on, a, on an African safari earlier in the year. And I was able to uh, bring a D5 for the low light capabilities. I did a lot of night photography. Uh, I brought the D500 for the speed of the camera, but also giving me that 1.5 times crop factor. So when those animals are really far away, I could go and have them be nice and close. And then I brought a D810. And that D810 was amazing for the landscapes, for the very high resolution work that I wanted to go and capture. That being said, if I were to go and do the Africa trip tomorrow, to be honest, I would basically just be able to bring a D850. And it would be able to do pretty much everything that all three of those cameras did all in one package. Now, obviously I would bring a backup just so I would have something uh, in case. Uh, but yeah, the D850 would pretty much do everything I would need it to. So there's a brand new feature in the D850. Um, it's focus shift shooting, which a lot of people are familiar with uh, doing it in the past manually, and it's focus stacking. Now, whether you're focus stacking uh, doing landscapes or macro work, this feature built into the D850 is really gonna help streamline that process. Now, it's not going to build the focus stacked final image for you. It's gonna give you the individual files that you'll then go and use third party software such as Photoshop to go and stack yourself. But you are essentially having the camera automate a lot of that initial shooting process for you. So you tell it how many shots you want to take up to about 300. And then you tell it the amount that you want it to shift the focus in between each shot. A general uh, basis is if you're doing a landscape, where your depth of field is obviously usually much, much larger, you can get away with using a much larger focus step. Or as you start, let's say, shooting um, the logo on the D850, I'm gonna be very, very tight using a macro lens. My depth of field is gonna be very, very small. So I'm gonna want it to, sh to change the focus in between each shot to be very, very small increments. 
to be honest, speed. That's, that's the biggest reason for why we have two card slots in the camera is speed. With 45 megapixels being able to shoot at seven frames a second, we need the fastest capability for the memory card that we're gonna be recording to, and XQD provides that. We've seen it with the D5, with the D500, the huge buffer sizes that those cameras are able to shoot out. So with 45 megapixels, to be able to still provide people the ability to shoot wildlife, to shoot sports, and not have the buffer fill up on them, XQD is definitely the way to go. Usually that's a pretty easy answer. If it was, let's say, when the D810 came out, I'd be able to say, okay, yeah, the D800 users, uh, maybe the D700 users, and then maybe like a D7000, 7100 who are really looking to really up their game and, and move into full frame. With the D850 though, it's a little bit difficult to answer because it hits so many uh, boxes for so many photographers that absolutely the answer is still the same where a D810 user, a D800 user, a D700 user, but I'm talking to people out in the field and they're shooting with D4s, D4Ss, and they're sitting there going, oh wow, I'm not in the 12,000 ISO range all that often. I don't need 11 frames per second. The D850 pretty much does everything I need and gives me more resolution and gives me a better autofocus system than they've ever used in the past. So yeah, talking about upgrade owners, it's a little bit difficult with this camera because I'm seeing it from every kind of spectrum on our, uh, with our, within our lineup where DX users are looking to jump up to this, previous full frame owners of D810 users uh, are, and even the top, top, top of the line D4, D4S users are thinking about uh, switching to this as well. So it, it's difficult to answer just because this camera is so unbelievably versatile.